Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and okay, so it's the day after the Super Bowl, and you have your Super Bowl hangover. Well, that's not the only thing that's hanging over, because not only is the, con the Super Bowl always controversial, especially, oh yes, entertainment, or not entertainment, or who's playing, or the score, and oh, and the calls, and all that, but this one, historical, lights out. Yeah, lights out. Alicia Keys changes the words to the Star Spangled Banner. Beyonce, well, I guess you could put a ring on it, right? Anyway, um, in a very, well, let's just say it was almost a runaway game. Lights out, exciting. Oh, ended up within the spread. How do they predict that? Anyway, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Just happens to be the colors of San Francisco, too. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Well, actually, they weren't favored to win anyway. Oh, yeah, they were favored to win. Oh, they were? They were I thought favored. the Ravens were supposed to win. They were favored to win, but they, the odds, they, they were odds favored them to win, but they also said that, uh, here's a good one, that the Ravens would win a, by, a, a, their, by a field goal at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And they won by a field goal at the end of the game, and that was the mm -hmm. And it's all over. Well, actually, on the Super Bowl, um, it's always controversial, right? But this is the first for having lights out. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd do it. He, he wants me to do. Uh, he, he, I want to change the. Uh, the I want to change the national anthem. Hey, baby, 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 baby. The lights, the lights, they all went out. <laughs> but why? Why in the hell bother to sing the national anthem when you could basically add your own lyrics to it? Oh my God. It was disgrace. It was disgraceful. The National Football League was a disgrace in letting it happen. You don't song style the national anthem. You know what they do to you in Canada if you screwed with their national anthem? What do they do in England if you screwed with theirs? Basically, you'd you'd be on the rack with your thumbs being held in thumb screws. Mm -hmm. Here they think, well, well, Afro Americans, they got to make it theirs. No, they don't. That's the national anthem. The national anthem. Okay. Young America and Obama's America hates this country and they show it every time they have a chance to do it. And Obama targets the Boy Scouts now. Oh yeah, he's pissed off because Obama said it, that it's time that you add gay Scouts. Well, no, it, it, basically that's a threat. So you can bet he's, thre he's threatening the Boy what? Scouts, gun ownership, you know, everybody in this country. And they said, well, you, uh, once again, they quote, elections have consequences. We won the election. We make the rules. No, they don't make the rules. They didn't win the election. Okay, you know what, you know what, Herb, what Herbie Daddy says? Herbie Daddy says they got 53% of the people that voted, not the country, not the United States. 53% of the people that voted and less than 50% voted. So, therefore, the majority of the Americans do not agree with the president. What happens is... Republicans didn't like Romney, which I knew. I told people they wouldn't vote for him. This is what happens when you have a, a Republican vote from the top down. Democrats only vote from the bottom up. This is why Democrats hold seats and lose presidencies, where Republicans basically lose presidencies and hold seats. Hmm. <laughs> and dreamers react to the immigration plan. Well, yeah, I mean, they're dancing on the tabletops because under the immigration plan, they get to become, they, they get to go to the head of the line. They don't have to pay taxes. They don't have to obey the laws. They don't have to, oh, no. That's not the way it is in the plan, but that's the way it's got to be because the, in, in order to get Democratic Party support, they got to grant, the, they got to grant all the people that are here illegal. I, I'm listening to one mayor last night who, a governor of a state, and who is a Democrat says, what we're just going to do is to put them on buses, send them back to Mexico and kick their asses out. Mm -hmm. That's what they feel because they said they're going to, they're going to legalize, not, there's not 11 million, I heard people, there's 40 million people here, 40 million, they're going to legalize mm -hmm. them all. And they don't want to become citizens. If they don't want to, they didn't apply for green cards ages ago. They're, and then they said that they will just open the doors. They said, well, when does the amnesty stop? Is it is it 10 minutes after? Is it a day after? I said, well, we'll have to have it. We'll have to discuss this in committee, which means it's a never-ending amnesty under this president. And police detained man over mom who went missing in Istanbul. Well, yeah, well, I mean, she, I mean, this woman basically, she got spy written all over her. 
She goes, she goes for a day trip in Scandinavia, comes back, goes into areas that you're not supposed to go into, and didn't look like she was a tourist. Mm -hmm. She basically, you know, it's called happens. You do. Uh, actually, I was watching an old episode of I Spy, and they were setting there. The, the whole thing was about the death of an agent. And they're sitting there at the end of the thing, all the, you know, the people walking away said that this, that, they did, they did one thing, too, they did one thing too many on the mission that they were doing and they got caught and they paid a penalty for doing it. If they'd have, if they'd have let, if they stopped when they were supposed to stop, they'd have been alive, they went one step too far, that's what this woman did. I mean, she stuck out like a sore thumb, folks. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Spacey, a diabolical new role as devious congressman. We don't like this diabolical. Well, Kevin Spacey is very big at the moment because Kevin Spacey is, he basically represents the new young Democrats. But the funny part is, the guy is a, was a nightclub comic. He does the best impersonation of Johnny Carson. I mean, okay, they had, uh, here's one, they, they did an episode of the Carson show back when he was doing um, The Fall Guy uh, on, uh, on, 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 NBC, on CBS. and. Uh, uh, that wasn't the fault. He was doing a thing about uh, where he was playing a head of a gang and his was Kevin Severance was also there. He did, they opened the show up with him from the back, you know, he's thumping the stuff on the table and doing his voice and people didn't know it wasn't Carson until Carson came out and started doing, and then we're going to introduce Kevin Spacey, bright young comedian, not as an actor, but bright young comedian, and then Carson comes out doing Spacey and then all of a sudden Spacey, that's my act. Mm -hmm. so, but he would do come on, he would, any time he would come on, the guy's got two Academy Awards, he'd come on to Carson, show Carson, make him do Carson all the time. He oh! And tainted baby formula forces Chinese to look elsewhere. Yeah, their baby formula is always tainted. Because first of all, you can't walk in China, basically, okay, uh, you need a mask to walk down the streets in most of the major cities because the pollution is so bad. But we're going to give them $30 billion because the United States is responsible for polluting the world. No, China is. China is. China is the worst polluter in the ever was. And critics don't live in an evidence-based world, Clinton says. Yeah, they, it, 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 okay, but Obama basically, he went on last night you know, on CBS, on basically he did another 20 minutes thing because they don't ask the hard questions and set their hard-working Americans are made to suffer because of these rich Republicans. Yeah, you know, I, I can't understand it. When he says rich Republicans do this, Republicans do that, and then Boehner basically kisses his rear. I, 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 I was talking, listening last night to one guy. He said, he said that Fox broadcasting is full of so many hypocrites. They said if the president of the United States would say. I will do this show and this show and this show, but when I bend over on your show, you have to publicly kiss my ass and tell everybody how much you worship the ground I work on. Mm -hmm. There would be a line around the block to get Obama to come on the show. Mm -hmm. Fox is a, it's called good cop, bad cop, and they're Fox people like Sean Hahn and Hannity and others are the bad cops. You know, okay, if Hannity and Huckleby and those people actually believed what they were, mm -hmm. believe what they were talking, they'd be Glenn Beck. And unemployment rises to 7.9 percent. Economy adds 157,000 jobs. It's not adding jobs; it's bleeding jobs. That's the whole reason why. Then you know how it, how it managed to only stay at 7.9 percent. Obama juggled the figures to add 360,000 jobs over the past year that were never created. Mm -hmm. And a new way to get around NASA to launch a solar cell. Yeah, well, we've seen that. Okay. We don't have batteries that will contain solar energy, so they can't go. We've seen the solar cars at work, you know. We've been at the events where people are making, basically they have to stop for bad weather. If there's no sun, they do nothing. And fireworks blast tears apart Chinese highway. Yeah. They're celebrating? Yeah, they're celebrating fireworks. They also don't have good regulations on those things. I, I thought they were celebrating Chinese New Year's. No, they, uh, what, they're, very, they're very laxed on their fireworks stuff, which is why you bring these things into the country. It's like, you know, you turn, light it at your own risk now. Anymore. And Dior, Jennifer Lawrence's dress had no malfunction. No, she lifted it up, folks. She basically that was the under area. She lifted it. She left. There was a. There were several areas over. She lifted one too many up mm -hmm. because she got excited and she. First of all, she was sick. 
before she came there. That's right. They did talk about her being sick on the red and carpet. And she basically made an air, like, big deal. So she showed her legs. Ooh. Oh, I know. That was disgraceful. Ooh. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, look, you're trying to, okay, that, uh, when you see a professional sports game today, just assume it's fixed before you ever uh, watch it, and then you'll have a better time. 